Once a week, I learn Indonesian language called Bahasa Indonesia. I met my instructor who can speak English very well. So he gave me lots of information and teach Indonesian languages very well. Yesterday, we chose topic about the vocabulary. When I study on the internet, I use AI. AI help me to get many words and sentences also, it's very easy to translate a language to the other language. So very useful. I talked to my instructor about how to build vocabulary. It can be used five steps with some words and sentences. By doing that, learners can build vocabulary. For example, let's talk about food. When I find 10 words about food with AI, AI gives 10 words and three sentences or five sentences if I say, Give me a three sentence with the uh, words which I found. Then um, I can study with them. And when we do language exchange, I can translate the words and sentence into other languages. So, and then we review together. And by doing that, we can learn uh, target language each other. The first step is about food, 10 words. Maybe among them, fish, vegetable, fruits, meat, rice, something. And then there are, we can guess there are, uh, the kind of foods are, uh, And also, second step, I can pick one among 10 words. For example, food, and I try to find some vegetables. And then I'll tell again, uh, give me 10 words about vegetables. So, and then AI give me 10 words about vegetables, cucumber, cabbage, carrot, spinach, tomato, something with the tense. So, and then also with the sentence, there is a second stage. For example, I choose about tomato. Tomato is also, uh, and then I ask three steps uh, about tomato, 10 words about tomato. Then an AI gives me 10 words about tomato. Tomato, we can guess red, tomato sauce, or green, nutrition, hamburger, some kinds of words related with the tomato, I can find 10 words about some recipe, about some food, how to grow uh, the environment. This is the third step. I can get fourth step. For example, give me and then about uh, ingredient or uh, then and how to grow the tomato. So, and then I can pick one 
Um, farming, tomato farming, harvesting farming, planting planting tomatoes. So and then the topic is the planting tomato. Is it fourth step? So and then there are there are. And then there are um, 10 words from about uh, planting tomatoes. And then field, originality, and then plant a small uh, process about, and farmers, and market, uh, something, 10 words. This is the fourth step. Last step about uh, farming, and then uh, I can um, choose one topic, last topic, the fifth step is uh, about selling tomato at the market, about 10 words, then um, uh, who buy some, I can get the 10 words. AI is a large language model. AI doesn't hesitate to give us some information about, especially languages. AI's first uh, skills is uh, uh, about languages with uh, many languages. By using AI to gather some vocabulary, building vocabulary with the sentence or sometimes the writing, and then it's very useful. So uh, I gave him about this building vocabulary. After then, he chose a topic about emotion. I learned about emotion from him. Uh, for example, happy, sad, satisfied, surprised, cozy, tired, upset, angry, some kind of emotion was I learned about uh, in Indonesian, Bahasa Indonesia. So, and then we learn, we talk about some kind of feeling. I told about some information about Korean culture, dialect, and uh, Kimchi, traditional food. And then we uh, language exchange you do about 40 minutes. And then once a week uh, is good. Uh, he can speak English very well. I also can speak English. We communicate with English. And he give me some information about the languages. I give me information about the culture. So actually see he uh, doesn't learn Korean language just interested in Korean culture, something. I learned Indonesian language to go Bali for shopping uh, one, one month a year. Maybe after my season in the winter, I go there, Bali. So I would like to learn about some expression, uh, Indonesian language to use it, to communicate with the Indonesian people, Balian, Indonesian, maybe uh, I can visit with the mainland Java, Java island soon. Okay, then um, this is uh, my uh, topic about uh, how to build the vocabulary. I test with uh, this step. If I have a five step with the 10 words, then and 50 words. Uh, when I check out uh, I what I study about these uh, patterns and then duplicate it, this will some happen. So, and then 50 words, actually, first word is about uh, 30 to 40 words. 10 to 20 words are repeated. Uh, so, and then uh, after voice diary, I check out uh, truthfully this. After then, uh, I'll try to um, directly how I um, research about this step and then showing how to build vocabulary with AI. The end.
Now I get the group leader. Mm. I get the group leader. The I gave him one, two, three. So the uh, prompt the engineer and then ask him, but he work. So AI and just follow uh, the engineer and ask him them. So yeah, once a week, I learn Indonesia and call the Bahasa Indonesia. I met my instructor who speaks English very well. So he gives me a lot of information, teaching Indonesian language very well. Yesterday, we uh, discussed uh, the topic vocabulary. When I study on the internet, as it help, AI helped me to get many words and sentences. It's also easier to translate them into other languages, so it's very easy for me. I talked to my instructor about how to build a vocabulary. It can be done in private steps with some words and sentences. By doing that, learners can build vocabulary. For example, let's talk about food. When I find 10 words about food with AI, it gives me 10 words and three sentences. If I say it, uh, it means three sentences with the words which I found. Then I can study with them. And when we do language exchange, I can translate words and sentences into other languages. So we learn together. So by doing that, we can learn each other's target languages. Just post about food, 10 words, maybe among them, fish, vegetables, fruits, meat, and more. And then we can guess what kind of food they are. So in the second step, I can pick one among 10 words, for example, food, and I try to find some better tools. Then I'll tell again, give me 10 more about vegetables. So I give, uh, AI give myself 10 words about vegetables, cucumber, cabbage, carrots, spinach, tomato, and more. Also with the sentences, uh, that is the second stage. For example, I choose tomato. Tomato is also, and then I ask hey, these three steps about tomato. Give me 10 words about tomatoes. We can get some red tomato sauce, a green nutrition hamburger, or the, some kind of the water related to tomato. I can find 10 words about some uh, less, uh, in, less of feed, and then about some food, uh, how to grow the environment. This is the service tab that I can get. Um, yes, there's, and for example, so you give me about the ingredient or then and how it grows. And then and there are 10 words about the planting tomatoes. And then a few originality in the parenthesis, small process about the hammers and the market and then something. And 10 words, this is the first step. And the last step is about coming. And then I can choose one last topic to fix. The step is about selling tomatoes up at the market. At the market. About 10 words, then we, who buys some, I can get 10, uh, 10 words. AI is a large language model and it doesn't hesitate to give us information, especially about languages. AI is the first skills uh, about languages, many languages. By using AI to get some vocabulary, building vocabulary with sentences, something writing is better useful. So I gave him about this building vocabulary in and he chose a topic about emotion. I learned about emotions from him and then, for example, happy and satisfied, surprised, and cozy, and tired, or upset and angry, some kind of emotion. I didn't know about uh, in Indonesian, Bahasa Indonesia. So we learned, we talk about some kind of feeling. I told him about some information about Korean culture, di dialect, in Russian food. And then we did language exchange. We did about 40 minutes. And then once a week, uh, it's good. And then he can speak English very well. So I also can speak English, communicate with English. And he gave me some information about the languages. I give him information about the culture. So actually, he doesn't learn Korean language. He just interested in Korean culture. Something I learned, I learned Indonesian language to um, the Bali, um, uh, Bali, Bali, go to Bali for something one month a year, maybe after my season in Utah, I go there, all, I go there. So I would like to learn some expression in Indonesian language to use to communicate with the Indonesian people. Maybe I can visit uh, mainland Java, Java land. So, okay, then and this is uh, my topic about how to build vocabulary. I test these times. If I have the five steps with 10 words, 
when I check out uh, what I study about these patterns and then duplicate it, this uh, will happen. So 50 words actually supposed to um, total is about 32, 40 words, 10 to 20 words repeated. So after voice diary, I check out, probably do this after. Yeah, then I will try to directly how I am research about this system and then showing uh, how to build vocabulary with AI. Um, to write a voice diary is very short. Uh, I mean, the saving time. And without the typing, I can make uh, many, many, many stories. And with uh, about uh, maybe um, three papers, and then um, proof read as well, even some words. And also, I can find uh, my weakness of pronunciation. Maybe I getting better and better about the pronunciation in English as well. Uh, now, English is not the target language. Target language is uh, Vietnamese. Uh, while I learn Vietnamese, also my English level is also a little bit better, getting better, getting better. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, the end.